Okay, we have got to tell Jamie. It's ridiculous. All he ever does is ask me about Laura. You know, when is she coming home? When can he come and visit her? It's, it's, it's getting out of hand. I know, I know. I know he misses her. He's probably homesick by now, too. Well, I don't know about that, thank God. Opal's doing a pretty good job of keeping him and Petey going to movies and hopping between restaurants. Oh, thank God for Opal. I know you're right, all right? I know you're right. I know, you know... Jamie knows that Laura has a heart condition. I know it's just a matter of time until he finds out that she needs a transplant. And he's got to hear it from us. I mean, come on, we don't have a choice. If you want, we can tell him together. Okay. Just let me prepare Laura first, okay? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Sure. There's something else that you should know, Ted. About Laura? No, something I've done. Good morning, Brooke. Dad. What the hell is this? Where's your little escort? Oh, haven't you heard? I was just going to tell him. Oh, well, that's okay. Brooke, I'm happy to tell him. Thanks to Brooke, I'm out on bail. You did what? Don't be angry with Brooke. I'll take it from here, David. I spoke to Judge Stanton, and I requested that he reconsider letting David out on bail. Who posted? I did. I did it for Laura. It's fine. I... I completely understand. I'm sure that Dr. Hayward will do everything he can to save her. It's okay. It's all right. Um, I was just in Laura's room. A little while ago, she was asleep. I'll go check on her. Okay. care if he is a brilliant doctor. You know you cannot trust him as far as you can throw him, right? I have to trust him, all right? He's probably as guilty as sin. Doesn't matter to me, Tad. Keeping Laura alive, that's the only thing that matters to me. How much was his bail? It must have been astronomical. I don't care. You know what? He just has to take care of Laura. He can hop the first jet to Bahrain for all I care. The cost doesn't matter to me. It is worth it. You're right, I... I'm sorry, I, I don't want to be selfish. It's, it's just... What? I have no idea how J.R. is going to react when he finds out that Hayward is out of jail. David. Yeah? Was Laura awake? What? Yeah, she was. She was awake and she was hungry. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Good, her appetite's back. That's... That's, uh, positive. I agree. That's why I'm hopeful that we can have her out of here. You really think that she, she could go home? Well, I'm thinking that it might improve her spirits, and we need everything working for us right now. I also want to check with the transplant center and see what the status is. David, I fully expect you to come through for us. I'll do everything I can, Brooke. That's all I can ask. Excuse me. Yes. We need uh, to get a few things straight, Doctor. Relax, Joe. I haven't made a jailbreak. I've been released. Yes, I've heard that. I know you got Brooke to put up your bail and to vouch for you personally. Well, news travels fast. Yeah, let's be clear about one thing. Brooke did what she did for the best possible reason. Do not give her cause to regret it. Brooke has faith in me, Joe. 
I intend to live up to it. I'm glad to hear it. But do remember, your contract with this hospital has been canceled. You are here for one reason only, to treat Laura English. I mean, if you hear a patient sneeze, you don't so much as say, God bless you. You got that? Loud and clear. Yeah, good. I've kept you on, David, because you've been able to save lives. But really, you've been more trouble than you've been worth. Oh, come on, Joe. Let's not forget all the grants that I've brought to this hospital. Oh, but that's not all you brought, is it? You know, I've actually been forced to defend you. Trying to put a stop to all these lawsuits you've also brought with you. Well, thank you for making me feel so at home. Well, there's more. And I want you to be clear about this as well. You no longer have an office. Your computer password has been deleted. If you need to log on, you'll be given a temporary one. I know why you're doing this. Yes, I am doing it to set the ground rules. Oh, yes, and you're enjoying yourself immensely. Do you really expect me to keep you on after all the scandal you brought to this hospital? Come on now, Joe. Even then, it had nothing to do with your precious hospital. You wanted me out of here because I broke up your son's marriage. Vanessa, hi. What are you doing here? Is, is, uh, everything okay with Palmer? Palmer? Oh, yeah, of course. Palmer's a bull. <laughs> no, actually, I came here because I wanted to thank you in person for getting David released from that horrible jail cell. There's no need. I did it for my daughter. David's treating her. Yes, I know, and I'm so sorry that Laura's sick. I, I had heart irregularities myself. I know how terrifying it could be. Yes. Will you excuse me? I need to call my office. But, you know, I was wondering, you know, have, have you noticed that my younger son and your daughter have become so close? I mean, I can't turn around but what he's right at, at Laura's doorstep every minute. Is that a problem for you? No, of course not. I was... I was kind of wondering when it all happened. I mean, after all, Greenlee and Leo were engaged. They, they just broke up. I... Yes, well, Laura and Leo have been friends for a long time. And as far as I know, that's the extent of it. You'll excuse me, I really need to call my office. Oh, sure. 